Pisces, then Prince Virgo, then Prince Virgo Tarot, back again with another reading. This time it is a What I Am Feeling energy message for the collective for the week of October 23rd to the 29th of 2023. Again, that's October 23rd to the 29th of 2023. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I truly appreciate all the love and support that you guys give to me and to the channel. So uh, let's get into the astrological breakdown first. Then we'll get into the astro cards, the tarot, and then an oracle card for the collective for the week. Okay. So as I always tell you guys, this energy plays out during the week, either for you personally, in your friendship group, family group, or somewhere in your network, maybe even at work, or on the world stage. Okay. So if y'all watch the... Um, the previous what I'm feeling energy message and the one before that those energies played out because Pluto transformation um, sudden shake up of in terms of events if you go back and watch those it played out on the world stage that's all I'm gonna say okay but right now we're focusing on October 23rd to the 29th to see what energies will be prominent for the collective okay so this week, we're going to be officially entering into, well, we were entering into Scorpio season last week, though. Um, the sun is going to be officially entering into Scorpio on Monday, okay? It's going to be journey, joining, excuse me, Mercury and Mars after a period of extroverted uh, energy, okay? So, it is fall here in <laughs> where I am in the United States, okay? So the nights are going to lengthen, okay, and the energy of fall or autumn, as some people call it, is going to be very deeper, especially going into Scorpio season. Scorpio is very mysterious, very the energies that it is. So the focus is going to shift from, it's going to shift to noble pursuits, a personal loyalty, and the seductive bonds of passion and relationships. So that could be. Take it how it resonates for you in your personal relationships, whether it be romantic relationships, relationships with people surrounding you. Take it how it resonates, okay? So there's going to be a lot of emotion and unbridled intensity during this week. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And entering into Scorpio season is going to give this energy a one-two punch, okay? So on Tuesday, this is going to be one of the best days of the month. It's going to be a very good day to be productive um, in getting things done, whatever tasks that you have at hand, whether it be things, uh, errands you have to run, things you have to do around your house, things you have to do at work, things you have to do with creative projects. Tuesday will be the best day to get that done, even meetings, okay? Um, during this week, it's going to be important to know that inspiration can be found anywhere from any source. It could be from something simple as hearing someone speak about something, watching TV, watching a commercial, or meditating and getting your ideas. It's really going to be, on Tuesday, it's really going to be a time for you to get anything done and a great time to renew your enthusiasm for a project, for living, and widening, and open up and widening your horizons, okay? Wednesday is going to have an unhurried energy, hump day. It's really going to feel like it's dragging. It's really going to feel like dreamy and ephemeral. Like, mm, okay, what is this energy? Um, a lot of people are going to be like, thrown off by the energy. But if you're really a creative person and you have a lot of water placements in your natal chart, you'll be able to get a lot of things done creatively wise on Wednesday as well. Okay. Um, there's not really too much going on until the weekend, if I'm being honest, um, because we're going to, things are going to shake up towards the weekend. And if you know, you know, okay. So for those of you who don't know, we're going to have this lunar, it's going to be a full moon lunar eclipse. Okay. Which the energy for those of y'all who are really sensitive are already feeling it now. But for those of y'all who are not as sensitive, you're going to be feeling that energy like three days before and even three days after, far after this lunar eclipse happens, okay? So, I'm telling you now, 
Saturday and Sunday is going to be the peak of this energy, this lunar eclipse energy. Arguments can happen. Like a volcano, they can erupt. Um, emotions can erupt. Out of nowhere, someone might question your authority or question something and it might turn into an argument, okay? Um... Yeah, it might be a fallout from with someone in certain groups on the world stage in your personal network. Take it how it resonates for you. Like I always tell you guys, come back and check it out and see how the energies resonate with you. Okay, um, things are gonna come to light that have been suppressed uh, by your emotions, whatever that is. Maybe things you've been holding on to, and it's gonna be dealt with. And this energy is coming about so things can be dealt with and put to rest okay so the advice to get you through this week <laughs> it's interesting it's literally going to be like the best of times and the worst of times a balance of each type of energy okay light and dark okay whatever you want to call it um it's best to try to enjoy the the delicate vibes at the beginning and the middle of the work week um but be prepared for conflicts to flare up, okay? Or something to happen that needs to be addressed, okay? Uh, once the, re the weekend rolls around. So be prepared for that. If you can, steer clear. If not, address it. It's best to address certain things as they happen, okay? And don't really engage in an argument. Speak your peace, say your truth, and move forward, okay? You don't have to engage in nasty tactics or whatever just because someone else is playing in the mud playing in the gutter and they want to take you there with them. you don't have to do that okay so the top astrological event of the week for the collective will be like i told y'all saturday and sunday the lunar the full moon lunar eclipse is going to be close to jupiter and it's going to be opposite the sun mercury and mars okay so it's going to be a bit of a doozy. I'm not going to lie to you. But hang in there. Make sure you meditate. Make sure you pray. Make sure you sit with your own energy. Journal if you need to. For some of y'all, cry if you need to. Release that energy. Address some things in a cohesive, calm manner if you need to. To put some things to rest. To move you forward on your journey, okay? So, yeah. It's going to be an intense two-day period, Saturday and Sunday, but we'll get through it. It's going to be okay as a collective. Um, for some of y'all, though, I'm not going to lie, it's like you might be tempted to burn bridges because you're, you've had enough of someone's junk. It it may, may feel like someone has been attacking you personally or coming for you or your certain beliefs personally. But it's important to know once you burn certain bridges, you can never go back. Okay? That's what I got for y'all. So let's get into the astrology, okay? Interesting. So we have a conjunction, empowerment, and cancel the doula. Like I told y'all, a lot of emotional energy. Okay? Just saying. The Holy Spirit, what additional energies will the collective be working with for the week of October 23rd to the 29th of 2023? October 23rd to the 29th of 2023. Yeah, so there's gonna be a lot going on. Okay, let's see. Leo. <laughs> Leo the lover the lover expressive creative like I told you that creative energy coming back through playful warm overt self confident flirtatious glowing bedazzling extroverted vital guileless egotistical juicy proud trusting and obsessive so like I told y'all okay the energy of the week is going to start off very creative very bold okay a lot of y'all are going to be loving your energy. You're going to be using that energy, that creative energy at the beginning of the week to get things done, to express yourself creatively on the workplace, 
in your relationship, take it how it resonates for you, okay? Thank you, spirit, whatever messages or energies will the collective, I should say energies, will the collective be working with for the week of October 23rd? So the 20, yeah, okay. Can't make this stuff up. Surrender. Subconscious mind, compassion, dream, then I say dreamy energy, karma, forgiveness, baggage, trance, states, the unseen, healing, spiritual development, guilt, prayer, and Akashic Records. Like I told y'all before, prayer, meditation, chanting, journaling, ways to help you surrender to what is going on will help you move forward and be at peace. Okay? Some of y'all need to commune with your ancestors. Do some ancestor work. If you don't have an altar, you need to make an ancestor altar. Okay? To help you during this time and far beyond. The next card. Tenth house. Reputation. Career. Responsibilities. Achievement. Competence. Fame. Notoriety. Standing. Authority figures. Legacy. Purpose. Pinnacle. The patriarchy. And empire. So, I'm going to tell y'all what I, I'm feeling just from that card. I feel like we're going from a time where someone might not like this, but I'm going to say it. We're going from a time of patriarchy and dominant empires. It's been This has been a long time coming, crumbling before our very eyes. We're going into a time where truth is being spoken and seen. Things that were swept under the rug are now being brought to the forefront. And everyone is not agreeing and going along to get along with certain things that they knew were wrong in the first place. It all has to come to a head. I'm just saying. All right, let's see. Whatever that is. Mm. Here it goes again. That water energy, Pisces, the mystic. Imaginative, compassionate, healing, empathetic, mystical, adoring, magical, allowing, dreamy. Then I say that that energy of the week, especially towards the beginning and the middle of the week, will be very dreamy and ephemeral. Mystical, adoring, magical, allowing, dreamy, ephemeral, enigmatic, spiritual, emotional. It's going to be very emotional during this week. Escapist, impractical, impartial. Impractical, excuse me. Oceanic, self-pitying, self and illogical. For some of y'all, somebody or something or whatever, someone is going to want to see themselves as the victim in certain circumstances. You should never let yourself feel like you're a victim. A lot of the times, that's not going to help you. Okay. Let's see. The numinous mystery. Come on, spirit. The unknown, the unknowable, ESP, psychic abilities, the cosmos, universal truth, oneness, source, the unnameable, shadow work, inner knowing, tingling, ghosts, other worlds, space, enigmas, the occult, and intuition. So for a lot of you guys, you're going to have heightened spiritual gifts or guidance during this time. Like I told y'all, tap into this energy, this eclipse energy, this full moon Um eclipse energy okay just saying tap into it uh if you feel overwhelmed by the energy pray chant meditate do some shadow work i call it inner work as well do some ancestor work to help you help guide you along this path okay all right thank you holy spirit well i got two final cards you can't make this stuff up okay Two cards came out. Neptune, dream. Then I say this this energy is going to be very dreamy at first during the week. Imagination, the memory, the subconscious, self-sacrifice, ideals, universal love, visions, meditation, spirituality, compassion, empathy, fantasies, escapism, the ether, enchantment, confusion, veils, and magic. If y'all don't tap in during this week, stay grounded during this week. One great way to do that, meditation, prayer, chanting, journaling, ancestor work. 
altar work, shadow work, slash inner work. Balancing the energy within you. If you feel lost and unsteady, pray. If you like doing that, meditate. Journal. For some people, chanting is good as well. Tap into that energy. Do your magic. Work your magic. Work your light. The next card. Didn't I tell you at the beginning of the week? Passion, intimacy. There's more than just the other side of it. There's the getting to know people. There's the deepening your bonds and connections, okay? Investments, intensity, contracts, SEX, erotic capital, secrets, mystery, mysteries, obsession, inheritance, kundalini energy, stalking in the other world. If there's not Scorpio energy, I don't know what is. We coming into Scorpio season. Well, we entered into it last week with a bang, okay? You can't not make this stuff up. And what's on the bottom? Can't make this stuff up. The seventh house of relating. Partnerships, companionships, best friends, marriage, relationships in general. Opposition, equilibrium, sharing, communion, justice, balance, social awareness. Things are being balanced out during this week. If you didn't know, now you know. Okay? Things are balancing out. And I believe that's Libra energy, if I'm not mistaken. But let's get into this, because this is interesting. Okay. So look. Can't make this stuff up. We have Pisces, the hangman. Or hang woman, whatever. And the queen of pentacles. Interesting. And we have Pisces right here. So somebody is being upgraded. Okay, there's an upgrade, a new cycle that you're entering into for a lot of you guys. You're coming out of that stagnancy. But also, too, the hangman is not really stagnant, if you want to be honest. The hangman is seeking, has acts deep down within himself or herself for a higher perspective. You've been receiving it, but now there's always going to be a culmination of, oh, okay, I get it now. You're surrendering. You're getting the knowledge you need, the information you need to move forward. For some of y'all, you're, you've are you been going through an awakening process, and now you're coming to the culmination of it to crystallizing that energy and being on top. That's the queen or the king of pentacles. Take that however it's like. All right. Divine Holy Spirit, what additional messages do you have for the collective for the week of... October 23rd to the 29th of 2023. Additional messages for the collective. For October 23rd to the 29th of 2023. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right. Got the three of pentacles. That's communication with others or with spirit source. You can't make that stuff up. Look at that. Queen of Cups. Spirit is telling you how to tap in. You better listen. Queen of Cups and the higher front. I'm surprised that uh, Taurus energy didn't show up in the astral cards, but that's okay. We got the higher front right here in the tarot. Two of Cups. If that is not this energy here, I don't know what it is. Intimacy. The King of Pentacles came out. Remember when I pulled for that, we had the Queen of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups. And the Ace of Cups. Yo, you can't make this stuff up. What is that right there? The moon. Like I told y'all, this full moon eclipse is playing a big role for this week. For basically on into 2024, if I'm being honest, it's bringing something together. Spirit is preparing the collective. Okay. For some type of communication, like I said, for some of y'all, it could be two or threefold. Putting things to rest, putting things to bed, cutting off 
connections that no longer serve you. Communicating, speaking your peace, moving forward with your lives. Exiting a cycle that had you, for some of y'all, stagnant or in turmoil. But it was a certain reason why whatever you've been through has happened, even though it might have been tough, troublesome to you. It might have been rough, but it was preparing you for something far greater than what you ever imagined. This moon energy, things are going to be revealed. What's behind that page of pentacles? New opportunity. Things are going to be revealed. Neptune energy. The moon. Pisces energy. Cancer energy. Remember it when I split the astro deck earlier? We had cancer. So everything is coming to a head. Things are going to be revealed to you. In whatever aspect of your life that you are blind, you're going to see the truth about someone, something, or some particular situation. Take it how it resonates for you. Okay? With three of pentacles, like I said, you're going to communicate with someone, whether it be with other people in your lives. Like I said, we have the seventh house here. Relationships, not just romantic. Okay, but family, friends, whatever the case may be. You're going to be clearing up some stuff for your own spiritual purpose and growth. You're going to be clearing up some stuff. For a lot of y'all, literally, you're going to be surrendering, putting your hands up, telling spirit, hey, I'm just going, I'm surrendering to your will. I'm letting go of this situation that no longer serves me. I'm going to stay 10 toes down on my path. Queen of Cups energy. Interesting. As the Hierophant, you're on your path, even though other people may not understand it. For some of y'all, you don't even realize something that you're doing is for a higher purpose that's driving you because it's part of your destiny. It's part of your um, roadmap for some of y'all. It's part of what it is that you're supposed to be doing here. Either for the rest of your life or for a season or a period of your life, you're going to fulfill a particular contract for some of y'all. That's Taurus energy, by the way. Interesting. With the Two of Cups, some of y'all are making new bonds with people, whether it be romantic, uh, new friendship groups, strengthening bonds in romantic and friendship groups, and even family ties. Balancing out energy. Surrendering to what is so you can move forward. For some of y'all, y'all might have been focused only on your work and spirit is telling you um, that's good, but you also have to have a healthy balance of work and personal time with family, friends, whoever, loved ones, whoever. For some of y'all, y'all sacrificed a love relationship so that you could achieve whatever it is that you're doing now. And I feel like now you're like, eh. Was it really worth it? Somebody is contemplating it. King or Queen of Pentacles is contemplating it. A lot of y'all are leaving behind a relationship. You, as you can see, it's two cups right there. One is drowning though. So some of y'all are leaving behind a relationship that wasn't fulfilling to find what is truly fulfilling for you. For some of y'all, y'all letting go of an idea that you used to keep within, as, within you or as your how should I say, personal covering or yoke about relationships, about friendships, about family dynamics that you're letting go of because it no longer serves you. You're surrendering to spirit. You're literally a sacrifice. Letting go of something that is not for you. No matter how good something seemed at first, okay? I told you that Neptune energy about illusions and fantasies is things are going to be revealed about different things. Whether it be personal relationships, like romantic relationships, friendship dynamics, family dynamics, group dynamics in general, stuff about government, things are going to be revealed. Someone would not be pleased during this week. Okay? But it's best to take everything as tried. You're going after your Ace of Cups. How, however, that plays out for the collective. They're going for the Ace of Cups. For some of y'all, this is deciding that you need time alone to work on you and harness your magician energy and get the new beginning that you've always wanted. 
take a higher resonance. For some of y'all, you are realizing that, hey, the reason why you were getting all of the different outcomes that you were getting in previous relationships, whether they be romantic, friendship, platonic, or your family dynamic was because you didn't love yourself and the people that you were interacting with. Even this could be even at work. They were only reflecting back to you what you felt deep within your subconscious. And now you're going to work on that. Now you're leaving that behind so you can work on getting the true love with your self-love within yourself. For a lot of y'all, y'all letting go of things that... Things that no longer fit. For you going into this new paradigm. You're just throwing it up and saying, Spirit, guide me to my Ace of Cups. Guide me to my new beginning. For some of y'all. Mm, that's interesting. Told y'all this eclipse energy is going to be really, really interesting. Okay. Can't make this up. But we're having a full moon eclipse. Okay. Just saying. Divine Holy Spirit, what additional messages do you have for the collective? Oh, okay. What addition? This eclipse energy is going to be a doozy. I'm just saying. Mm. Have faith in your dreams. That's Neptune energy again. <laughs> For some of y'all, y'all dreams are about to crystallize and manifest. Okay? Interesting. Have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. Can't make that up. That go that Pisces energy, new moon in Pisces, although we're going into a full moon. Meditate and contemplate. I told y'all, meditation, prayer, journaling, chanting. It's going to be huge during this. Full moon eclipse, okay. Interesting. Let's see. What deeper information we have for this? Let's see. Okay, so this card right here, it says, don't give up. The situation you're asking about is still taking shape. You're nowhere near the end of the story. Whatever is happening now is just a step along the way. As they say in the self-help classics, everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. However, the Waxing Crescent Moon card is a reminder that you must still keep working towards whatever it is that you want if you can't take practical steps spend time meditating on the question you're asking about and allow your higher self to download information okay to you about your best next step overall this card suggests that it there is a every reason to be hopeful for a positive outcome to the situation you're asking about so keep the faith Okay. Wow. Interesting. Additional meanings for this card? This is going to knock your socks off. Just because you can't see your dreams, it doesn't mean they're not manifesting. So for some of y'all, y'all been having a hard time dealing with manifesting what it is that you want. Surrender to spirit. Don't look back. Stay focused on moving forward. Eight of Cups. Be patient as events unfold. Dig a little deeper to find more courage. Okay? So keep moving forward. Okay? Don't let roadblock or perceived roadblock stop you on your journey to get into this. However that may uh, come about for you, that is different for everyone. On your, on your personal journey, okay? Mm, that's interesting. So that's all I have for the collective, for the What I Am Feeling Energy message. 
for October 23rd to the 29th of 2023. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I hope you guys got something out of the reading to help you on your journey during this week. And uh, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video.